So supplements can have an incremental proportional, they can be like the cherry on top. Got it. But you've got to do the food bit to get the real benefits of improved lifespan, increased health span, decreased risk of um, chronic diseases. That's where the magic happens. It does not happen with supplements. Mm. So I find it really sad mm. when I have women who come and see me in clinic and they'll say, oh, you know, I'm taking all these, sometimes like hundreds of pounds worth of supplements. Super expensive. Like it's really expensive. Hundreds of pounds worth of supplements. But, you know, but their relationship with food is not great. And actually they don't really eat a lot of food. Mm. But they're like, but I'm taking all these pills. I'm like, mm, but it's not going to do the thing. And in in some cases over supplementing can be problematic yes so i've had women who've come into my clinic and they're uh, trying to conceive perhaps about to start ivf right but they have like sky high levels of b12 sky high levels of vitamin d and i'm like what are we doing <laughs> and it's because they're taking several different supplements wow. to try and improve their chances of conceiving which is such a vulnerable time it is so hard and you know mentally mm -hmm. to be in that place and there's so many supplements that are sort of targeting that it's really sad and then we have to work together to like reduce everything bring it back down to normal and really go for a food first approach